Hey friends, Peter Fossiano here. Welcome back to my series on the Canon R7. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the ISO performance of the camera. Now, before I start showing the pictures, you guys need to know that I am looking at this camera or using this camera as a wildlife photographer or a bird photographer, an amateur bird photographer at that. So birds are not cooperative. I have five birds with various ISOs, and then I ended up switching to just a static position and took a picture of a lake where I do my birding. The first lens that you're gonna see here is the Canon RF 100 to 500, and they were all shot at 500 millimeters, which gives me the effective focal length of 800 millimeters because of the uh, crop sensor that the camera has. It's 1.6 crop, so multiply 500 times 1.6 gives you 800 millimeters. The second lens that I used was the EFS 55 to 250, and the 55 millimeters gives you an effective focal length of 88 millimeters. You're gonna have to pause these things because I only have it up here for three to three seconds and two seconds. So if you're really gonna wanna you know, pixel peep and take a look at the grain that's here, uh, feel free to go ahead and pause it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first uh, five birds, and then we'll run through the 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 series from 100 ISO all the way to 32,000. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So starting off at 200 ISO, this is an acorn woodpecker, then it expanded to 100, expanded to 300%. Now we're gonna move on to the lesser goldfinch. These are the raw files, 100%, 300%, ISO 640. Then we're gonna to go to the bridled titmouse. This is the raw file, and then blown up to 100%, and then blown up or zoomed into 300%. Northern Mockingbird, straight out of camera, zoomed in 100%, and then zoomed in 300. Dragonfly. And then we have our last bird, which is the Spotted Toei. This is at 6,400, zoomed in at 100%, and then 300. On the next series, I'm just gonna let it play. This is all of the ISOs ranging from 100 all the way up to uh, 32,000. So there you guys go. That is the ISO performance of the Canon R7. Looking at ISO 100 all the way up to 32,000. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the grain. Acceptable, not acceptable. Like I had mentioned in my first video, every Monday I'm gonna post a new video dealing with the function of this camera. So if that sounds interesting to you and you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and turn on that bell notification so when I do go live every Monday with a new video, you'll be notified. If you know somebody that might be interested in this camera, go ahead and share this channel with them. And I think that's where I'm gonna leave it today. So I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.